at one time and they will all run through command over here. All right, so we got a hose pulled to the front door. They're gonna charge it, and then they're gonna bleed all the air out. This is stuff they've been working on from day one. First off, getting dressed, be able to making sure they get dressed properly because it's really hot in there. You don't want any skin exposed or anything like that. And then also how they fleck out this hose to make it go in the building easier. All right, he's called for water. That's what this means. Give me some water. All right, y'all hear the beeping? It kind of gets loud. That's what we call our pass device. So it's a safety device that if you're inside of a structure and you're still for too long, so maybe you've gone down, it starts alerting. That way we can find you inside. So if you look over here, they're fixing a ladder of the building and go up there and cut a hole. Because part of what fire is, you gotta be able to ventilate it. Maybe get the heat off somebody in vertical ventilation. So on top of the building is a good way to do that. Because look at all the smoke, right? It's bad. You can't see in there. So maybe when they vent it, it'll make it where they can see. he's climbing up so if you see he'll take that what's called a pike pole and he's sounding the roof because we want to make sure the roof is stable we don't want to step off and fall through the floor or anything like that so he's sounding it So there's a whole lot of stuff going on. We got vertical ventilation, we got fire attack inside, and we also have a search. They're searching for victims, all going on at the exact same time. Also look. They've opened this window, all the smoke coming out. saying is they went ahead and put that fire out but you almost have to be right up to it to find out that there's fire there bringing a baby out the front window here. Come here, the bird. 
A cylinder, 20 minutes. You're really excited, maybe five minutes. That's front window right here. That dummy right there weighs probably right around 200 pounds. Wow. It's very heavy. Building. And all the fires out, all the victims have been found. So we're gonna get set for our second scenario. All right, everybody step up here. I got some questions for you. Which means that probably it's not safe for us to even go in there, even with all our gear. So they're gonna start out defensive. Which y'all can't see it, but our engine sits around here and part of being defensive means more than likely they're gonna set up a deck gun, which is a gun that puts out a lot of water, a whole lot of water. You see them rolling out a line here. They're gonna set that up to protect exposure. And all the exposure means the building next to what's already on fire. Because we have one building on fire, we don't want a second one on fire. So that's one of our big priorities is to protect something that hadn't caught on fire already and exposed. Get to take pictures in front of the fire truck and stuff. Make sure y'all look at that deck gun. It's on top of the fire engine itself. And throughout class, they're taught different techniques of moving hose, so he's checking his pattern. He wants to make sure it's on the pattern that he wants, is what he was doing right there. And if you watch, they're gonna open this front door, they're gonna pop this front door, and they're gonna use that pike pole to go ahead and pull the ceiling to make sure there's not fire above them. Because if so, you wanna put it out before you go inside. So he pulled that ceiling, he set the pike pole to the side because there was no fire above them. And then they're gonna make entry, just like the scenario a while ago. <clears throat> These two people standing outside, they're what we call our writ. Okay, so what they're doing there, if you look in there, they're squirting the ceiling. And what that does is it's a different type of fire attack that allows it kind of to rain down on it and put it out through like a steam conversion or something like that. The way we label buildings is the address side, the street side is the alpha, and then going clockwise is the bravo, the back side is the charlie, and then the come on around side, which would be the right hand side if you're facing the building, is the Secondary search has found two additional victims and they're coming out the front door, the alpha door. Go ahead. 